Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, I'm here today at the house and I wanted to do this video for you. If it's your first time here, we moved from the U.S. to Ghana two years ago. We've been here two years. I would not go back. I wouldn't go back. Not for $100 an hour, not for $200 an hour, not for $500 an hour. I won't go back. I won't go back to get back into that same work for someone else system. Let me turn the camera around. Let's take a little walk. I'm gonna tell you what I left my nine to five job for. Well, after we planned for five years, we built this house, totally paid for, totally paid for three bedroom. Um, we actually have four and a half bath, right? The master has two bedroom or two bathrooms rather. We have four plots of land here, which is considered an acre, right? We have fruit trees everywhere. We have a garden where we um, source some of our produce, right? And beginning to source our herbs. We have moringa, I have holy basil, I have basil, parsley, cilantro, I could go on and on. Um, peppers, I'll never buy a hot pepper again, guys, and we use a lot. Mangoes are here, oranges are here, coconuts are here. Um, the mangoes there are different sizes. Um, yeah, they're not quite ready yet, but we'll be having mangoes for a while. We have our vehicles paid for, guys, paid for, right? Paid for. Um, yeah, we have sugar cane growing over here in the corner, as well as contumery, miracle leaf, um, different varieties of basils. We have flower gardens. We have um, just an abundance here. We have an abundance. Um, I don't know what else to say. What I wanna tell you also is as we're growing our own food, right? We have a 50 acre farm. Couldn't have bought that in the States. It's paid for guys, paid for. Were we rich? No, we were struggling just like you guys are scraping um yeah scraping trying to save as much as we could and put it towards this right we sold our house uh, we shipped our things we built this store and storage so what we have over here is when we sold our house it went so quick guys the market was really good it went so quick we built this um little building here and most of all we had a lot of yard equipment um shovels and tools and things of that nature we lived in a four bedroom three and a half bath house okay so we had a lot of stuff you guys know we tried to decide what we wanted to do and we decided to ship but when the things got here, they had to have a place to go, right? The house was still being worked on. A lot of it wasn't to put inside the house anyway. A lot of it was for the storage um, so we could work on our yard and things like that. So we had this built. That section is for a store. There's a roll-up door in the front. If we decide to have something there and sell things, we can do that. We're not there. We're not doing that. If anything, it would be something that people would come a one-off, not something that we're tied to sitting there at the store. That might be for some people, not for us. So we don't want to sit there at the store all day and wait for our profits to come to us. We have other ways of making money. We have built up this mini farm. Our protein sources are here. Our, um, our layers are here where we're making money from selling the eggs. 
right? We have lots of protein sources. Our two rabbits are pregnant again, so there will be more rabbits. We have layers. Um, we're making money multiple ways. We are putting money into the 50 acre farm so that later we will be able to reap a harvest, right? Our goats have multiplied tremendously. Our sheeps, uh, sheep has multiplied tremendously. We have our chickens. We have a couple here, but we have our main chicken pen here. We have turkeys. There they are. Busy, busy, busy. Working to make us some money, guys laying eggs um, our rabbits are over there there's some of our big turkeys and that's what i wanted to tell you guys this channel is to document our journey our move from the u.s specifically north carolina greensboro to ghana we are in the outskirts of accra and I wouldn't go back, guys. I miss my church family. I miss my daughter and grandson like crazy. But I wouldn't go back. No, I'm not going back to that 9 to 5 uh, trading time for money job that sucks the life out of you. Leaving nothing left for you to enjoy. So, yeah, I just wanted to jump on here quick and show you guys. Now, it is about 2 o'clock. So, I have been shooting some videos today. My husband is um, taking somebody to purchase some farmland. And my grandson's at school. So, my husband left around 8.30 this morning. I finished up some chores I wanted to get done. And then I started working on some videos for you guys. But this came to me. And, you know, we've said it multiple places. We've had several interviews and have been very vocal about it. But I wanted to share it with you guys in this short video that look at this view. Look at the view, guys. Always a nice breeze. Um, I'm free. If I was working a job, I'd be stuck inside. The specific job I did, I would be stuck inside with plastic fumes, right? Slowly killing me. I would be, you know, there with them telling me what what to do, when to come, when to go. Um, and things didn't work out the way they wanted or they had a bad weekend or a bad night. Uh, the, the most recent manager really uh, was making my life miserable. Whilst I was giving 200% to the, the workplace. Um, yeah. People are still there. My co-workers, my ex-co-workers are still there, guys. Two years in. Nothing's changed except it's gotten worse. And now we are working for ourselves here. We are helping others come and be successful. We are cultivating our 50-acre farm. We are building our resources here, right? We have multiple streams of income, too many to... Um, let you guys know right in this short video but i want to say i would not go back it is mid-afternoon i'm enjoying myself i'm putting my feet up in my recliner working on youtube videos um relaxing and enjoying i don't have to come back out and do anything again until about five o'clock p.m. It will take me about an hour to take care of the eggs, sort them, and everything. It's the um, random person in the community that will come and ring the bell. 
and want to buy eggs from us that I will have to get up and sell a crate of eggs, right? So aside from that, we normally sell our eggs and bulk purchase, but since we have our poultry farm here, we do allow the, um, the people around us, our neighbors, to come and buy eggs, right? Come and buy one crate. We don't sell any less than a crate, but we allow them to come and buy from us just as a convenience and a courtesy to them. And yeah, that's it, guys. I'm here. I'm home. I'm relaxing. My refrigerator is there. Um, my fans are here. My, my um, internet. Everything is here. Everything I need is here. And look at the breeze. Guys, just listen to the peacefulness of it. So, would I trade this to go back and be stuck inside? To go back and have somebody control your entire life? Have somebody have you... Um, work just sucking the life out of you? No. Never. Never, never, never. I wouldn't make it, guys. And no, we are not retired sitting here bringing in pension, bringing in Social Security. We are in our mid to late 50s and we are making it happen, guys, with the help of God and the grace of God that has led us here. We are making it. We are making it. Yep, we are making it. And you guys can do it too. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling tired of being tired, tired of being sick and tired, tired of them sucking the life out of you, guys, you can do it too. Our choice was to move here, my husband's home country of Ghana, West Africa. You can do the same thing, guys. You can do it. Um, very friendly, very peaceful country. And there's a level of freedom here, like I always say, that you will not get there. So, would I move back for $500 an hour? No. No. As I've said it before, I said I wouldn't go back for $100 an hour. I wouldn't go back for $200 an hour, my husband said. I wouldn't go back for any amount of money, guys. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And would you? Would you? When you have all of this abundance, all of this peace, all of this beauty, I wouldn't go back. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to clear that up and let you guys know. Is it easy? No. Is it doable? Yes. Is it better? A million times yes. Till next time. God bless you.